what we could do uh, as Otto gets uh, you know warmed up here, we can bring Francine in. She does. She's gonna do like stupid news for us. Is that oh, cool? Oh, very yeah. good. And then uh, yeah, maybe uh, Otto and George can. Uh, Just to let you know, Otto, like uh, the the fine folks in Washington, they want us to have like a news person. Oh yeah, of course. That's yeah. radio. I mean, the guy yeah. was... and we'll never have a news person, but we figured we'll just like try out. Like... The auditions will go on forever. Yeah. We'll, okay. We'll try out really awful people to do the news, like okay. Stalker Patty did it one day, and uh, I don't know. Maybe Otto and George one day will do it. I'd love to. But uh, let's bring Francine in here. <laughs> we have our <laughs> we'll do dinner. Princess. Okay. okay. I'll be... <laughs> All right. Good lunch. Let's bring Francine in, <laughs> and uh, of course, if anything, uh... here she comes. Yeah, and and uh, uh, Otto, princess. if you feel like yeah, it, just there. say whatever you want. Just interrupt her. We don't care. Thank you, Opie. You could uh, stand or take a seat, whatever you want to do. Oh, Grab the mic. Dying to be on radio. Mm. It's uh, Francine, everyone. Looking very hot today. Yes. Thank you, Opie. You want to try the vag pump out today? Uh, that's okay. No? We have this vag pump, Otto. Yeah, it's a pump. This thing, it looks like an oxygen mask that goes over a girl's snatch, and you pump the air out, and it makes a vacuum, and actually pulls the lips out, <laughs> so I swear, it just, it looks like... A monkey's these, ass. A monkey, yeah, a mandrel wow. ass. A mandrel ass. Do we have pictures of what the vag pump can do? And it's the damage supposed you can do? to make it more sensitive in that area, <laughs> and, and the plumpness, I guess, is b better for the male, uh, too, because uh, you'd feel more meat around it. You know mm. what it is? We're just running out of things to do with chicks. Yeah. So That's we figured we'd we, take a Hoover to their snatch. We've done everything else, and we're like, eh, who's that guy? Is that one of your guys that's going to beat us up? Who's that? I don't know. Who's that wow. guy? The Jets hat. Chubby guy? Yeah, he's my friend, Joe Conti. Oh, okay. What is he? So don't he's mess with he's him, right? He's stand-up. He's trying to break into radio. Jesus. <laughs> I hope he doesn't break <laughs> our necks. Jesus. All right, so... Oh, he looks like a leg breaker? No. Oh, my God, look at him. Armless. He looks like a Little League coach on trial for fingering a nine-year-old. What <laughs> 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 that fucking creep you brought you? <laughs> <laughs> he likes Russian massage parlors. Yeah? Yeah. I kind of respect that. What do you get at a Russian ma massage parlor? Better a head than job massage. And a free shovel? I don't know. <laughs> you get much better massage than stupid American uh, massage parlor. Much better. Russian do everything better. Hate Perfect Peter Lorre. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Russians do everything better. <laughs> Our mood. Uh, All right, why don't we <laughs> go ahead? Why don't we try? Uh, go ahead. <laughs> Otto just hates being here. <laughs> Francine, you want to do the news today? Yes, please. Did you type up some stories? Yes, I did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, well, I guess we'll get started. Do we have a, a, the sounder? Yeah. Do we have the news sound. Hopefully, Derek can help me out here with the teletype. All right, he, he's finding it. No worries. Jeez. The satellite radio is weird, too. We don't really take any uh, uh, commercial breaks because there's no real commercials. You ready? All right, Derek, uh, hit it. All right. And now with the news, Francine. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Francine. It's President Bush increased pressure on Syria, demanding that they withdraw their troops for, from Lebanon to give democracy a chance. The U.S., along with armpit hairy friendly France, has stepped up the pressure for Syria, especially after the assassination of their Prime Minister Rafiq al Hari. Really. Could you that's slow it down and put less voice inflection into it? Jesus, that's the top story? It's Cindy Brady, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so what's going on with that story? Um, apparently uh, there's people, Lebanon people, and some... Uh, Okay, I guess they're telling people to get out of Lebanon, the Syrians. Yeah. That's it. Wow. Yep. All right, that was very informative. <laughs> and that is the top story today. Thank you. I don't know what it means. That means the way that the way you tell it. He wants the Syrians to get out of Lebanon so that democracy can flourish. If you aren't wearing a retainer, you'd be right out of here. Throw you out, but the retainer's adorable. You like? I like it too. Mm. Really? Yeah. You don't even need it anymore and you keep wearing it, right? No, I told you, March 7th. March 7th it comes up? March 7th, my retainer <laughs> came out. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Francine. Next story. Is hoo-hoo in a little doo-doo? Seems as though investigators have reason to believe that Howard Stern's limo driver, Ronnie Mund, may have done some insider trading. Ooh. 
Ronnie the limo driver bragged in studio about how he had bought serious stock cheap before his boss joined the company. The SEC are trying to determine if Mun had insider information. Uh, Ronnie, you don't trade inside and brag about it on national radio. Are you serious? When asked to comment, Howard had this to say, I don't care. I just don't care. Wow. Do you, know, do you, do you even know what inside <laughs> trading is? Insider trading, yeah. <laughs> it's something to do with the stock market. Very good. <laughs> That's good. No, you don't. You didn't. You're not an investigative reporter where you really look into the story, are you? Otto, she watched uh, Sesame Street until she was what, twelve? Almost thirteen. Almost thirteen. <laughs> Spider monkey. Sorry. Good show. Right. It's a good show. Of course it is. Yes. Mm-hmm. Holy yes. It teaches you like the alphabet and reading and stuff like that. Sure. Well, I, I, I like this. Yeah. All right. That All right. and Fraggle Rocks so is great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Next story. This is Walter Cronkite with the CBS Evening News. Old dirty bastard died today or died. Martha. <laughs> George piped it in. I think, I think George has just about had it with this scene in the studio. <laughs> Go ahead, Francine. Next story. Michael Jackson is on trial again for yet again for taging and fondling a little cancerous. For taging? Taging and fondling? What the... For taging and fondling. Wait, for what? For touch. It's like when you slightly rub someone. I Wait, think. is it F R O T A G E? I think so. Frottage. It's frottage. No, not frottage. Frottage. I used to do that in high school. It's not like when you rub your penis against a girl's ass. It's copying a feel. <laughs> uh, in a like, it, 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 and it's quote unquote accidentally, but copying yeah. a feel. I believe, yeah, it's like a, it's like a, it's very antisocial. Uh huh. Well then, it's right up your alley. Yeah, frottage. <laughs> Let me see. Well, that's how I spelled it. Oh. How did she spell it? F R O T A G I N G. I think not that's right. right. It's not right. <laughs> <laughs> it certainly isn't. All right, go ahead with the Michael Jackson. <laughs> the Michael Jackson. <laughs> go ahead. Be- Guys, a riot. <laughs> Before molesting him, the boy claims that Jackson gave him wine and showed him porn magazines. Mm. But the biggest question is, what sane mother leaves their ailing son with a man already accused of child molestation? Oh, no one's thought of that yet. <laughs> <laughs> no one's looked at that angle. Yeah, there's yeah. a new angle. I think it's crazy. Yeah. Oh, you do. It's insane and nuts. Definitely. Yeah. All right. Jackson, regardless of whether you're innocent, they're going to walk away with a shitload of money. Mm. But enough of it to erase these memories. Meanwhile, you'll be in jail with a rotten balloon knot, swallowing and rubbing off Baba's Jesus juice from your <laughs> face. <laughs> Doesn't matter if you have a star-studded defense list. Sorry to say it, but Mike, you got Jack, son. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. Stop chortling at yourself. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> You were proud of that line at the end there. Captain <laughs> Naki is embarrassed. <laughs> you got Jack, son. Oh, <laughs> I get it. Get it? Yeah. Wow, we were having a really good show until this point. Wow. A really good one, man. <laughs> it was one of the better ones, I tell you. Mm. That was not a bad line. Yeah. You got Jack, she pumped son. her fist in the air. She was yeah, all she proud was of really herself. really proud of it. <laughs> uh-huh. I thought it was great. I thought it was all right. All right. Thank, was, thank you, Tommy. You're yeah. hot, so I guess it was good. All right, let's go. That bitch, Lizzie Grumface, <laughs> a.k.a. PR Bad Girl, is pushing her new TV series, Power Girls, big time for MTV. <sighs> Best known for reversing her Mercedes SUV into a crowd of innocent bystanders outside a Southampton nightclub. Uh, okay. Lizzie wow. told... <laughs> Lizzie wow. Told <laughs> I thought I was a bad reader at times. I, ca- I kind of wrote the wrong thing. No, you're all right. Good. No, it's making for Taji. It's just <laughs> ponderous. <laughs> Epping ponderous. That's good, right? Yeah. 
<laughs> That's good, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Lizzie told the Daily News uh, that she's trying to clean up her image and told them her favorite motto, any publicity is good publicity. How original. What? I was dozing. <laughs> I dozed off during that. It, it, I, did you get enough sleep last night? Um, is there any synapses sparking under that Jiffy Pop hat? <laughs> <laughs> no? Syna- oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, let me explain some brainwave activity and how it works to you. There's nothing wrong with that hat. Let Lawrence... J- Oh, you Lawrence stink. Hilton Jacobs. I almost said Lawrence Jacobs. <laughs> Hilton. Fucking idiot. <laughs> what is the What? What's the nastiest? The last surviving prop from the set of Good Times is on her head. <laughs> <laughs> I like the hat. Yeah, Thank I do you. too, actually. All right. Did they get Billinger yet? <laughs> <laughs> I heard that Michael Jackson story already. <laughs> Lakehurst, New Jersey. <laughs> the Hindenburg burst into flames. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're dumb as dirt, but you're cute as a button doing it. Thank you, Anthony. <laughs> Are, Very you nice you. <laughs> Are you almost done? I'm almost. I got two more stories. All right. All right. That little whore, <laughs> Lil Kim, is facing up to 30 years in jail for lying about the famous shootout in front of Hot 97 on February 25th. This comes after... Pardon my interruption. Did you just sound out that little R in February? February? February. 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 <laughs> February. <laughs> George is just sitting there stunned. Absolutely stunned. George is stunned? Why, because he hasn't you. blinked? <laughs> But George hold the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you uh, can continue. This comes after Lil Kim's friends testified yesterday that the racy rapper blatantly lied to a grand jury when she said that she didn't know him and that he wasn't with her when he opened fire outside of the Manhattan studio. Uh-huh. The man, Swift Gutta Jackson, who identified himself on stand as Lil' Kim's pal, admitted he sprayed machine gun fire into a crowd that buck, buck. day. Buck, buck. I hear ya. That's the That's one. it? That's the Lil' Kim story. You have one more, right? Yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> Congratulations to Steve Fawcett, who became the first person to fly around the world alone without stopping or refueling. Starting out in north central Kansas, Fawcett, who survived on 12 milkshakes and water during the flight while using bottles for the bathroom, landed yesterday, uh, had this to say. That was something I wanted to do for a long time. So good for you. Oh, that's that's it. Kind of the feel-good story at the end. <laughs> yeah, you gotta have that feel-good story. If you're still story. awake. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That was the dullest thing ever. Like last time, you spiced it up with some stuff. You put a little commentary into it. You know, a little opinion. This time, uh, you know, you, yeah. I think you you put all your eggs in that M- Michael Jackson. You got Jackson gag. And you thought that was going to carry you for the whole thing. I think you called it in today. Yeah. You this, didn't like it? This could be it for friends. Mm-hmm. I don't think so. I like it. Do you have Thank a background in journalism or anything <laughs> like that? I have a communications bachelor's degree from NYU. What, did you find it on the subway? <laughs> no, I got it. Oh. In school. Oh. She, she graduated school. college, if you can believe that, Otto. Do I'm going to nail all my old cum rags from high school in Central Park to increase tourism. <laughs> I'm going to call it the Jism Trail. <laughs> you didn't like the gates there, George? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it made a quarter billion dollars for the city. Yeah, really? Who gives a shit? But they're saying it's art. 
Yeah. Is it? Did, anybody, did you guys go? Uh, I it go. Was, it was the biggest joke I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, it's I went. It's something you go to. I was driving by the park and well, looked, and there, I, I was through, there. I walked through the park every day, so I'm like, well, I'm here. Might as well check it People out. People that walked around and actually looked at it? What the fuck? It was it's orange. Sheets, right? Yeah. It was orange shower curtains. Hmm. Literally. <laughs> and once Not you saw art. one, you saw, saw them all. all. There's no difference. <laughs> like something else we've heard of. <laughs> <laughs> God. All right. <laughs> Uh, Andre wants to say something to Francine. Henri. Andre. Hello, guys. How are you? Pretty Hi. good. You know that the, the, the Helen Keller had better delivery, and George has more enthusiasm for the fucking news. And I'll see you guys St. Patrick's Day. Helen Keller. Wow. Do you know who Helen Keller was? Uh, Francine. No. Is she a star? <laughs> uh, yes. A star. Yes. She could be considered a star. She's famous. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Helen Keller. You never heard of that name? Mm -mm. No. Have you ever heard of George Washington Carver? I know George Washington. You don't know George Washington Carver? Well, George Washington's like the second or third. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> He's one of the presidents. One yeah. of the presidents. Yeah. Very good. You're right. He second kinda, or third. But is he second or third though? Yeah. Something like that. He yeah. kind of started the whole president thing, yeah. actually. Who was the first? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Who was the first president of these United States? I think it was Abraham Lincoln. Abraham uh, of Lincoln. Of course it was. That's it. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln first, and then George Washington. Do you know who the third was? That's tough. Uh, Herbert Hoover. Herbert Hoover. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. What the hell did you learn in college? Well, we didn't have history courses. No? Nope. Didn't they have some in high school, though, that you had to kind of skate through to get to college? Well, I did really bad in high school. You did? Yeah. But so. so how'd you get into college? Well, by I spreading your legs. <gasps> no. Opie. Sorry. Did you? That was a that was a mean shot. I'm sorry, Francine. Do you know the definition of bacteria? Yes. It's the rear end of a cafeteria. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what was King Louis the Fourteenth responsible for? King Louis the Fifteenth. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. I don't get it. So Abraham Lincoln was the first president, and what year was uh, was that? Uh, around the 1700s. Around the 1700s. That's a 100-year buffer you got going there. Can you narrow it down a little more? 1793. 1793. And uh, Lincoln, what was the most, uh, the, his biggest impact on, on the country as president? Oh, Free Lincoln? Willie. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was a movie. Yeah. You're making eyes like you just saw a ghost. Is this I'm too much to for you? I'm trying to figure out what he did. Abe Lincoln, very influential as president. He yeah. wore a big hat. He wore a big <laughs> hat. <laughs> That's, right. That's right. You're right. That was his biggest contribution. That was soaring crime rate. <laughs> <laughs> Most people wish he'd pulled that big hat over his head before he signed a piece of paper. <laughs> and he was tall. He was tall, and it wasn't and just the hat. Skinny. Skinny. And very you, good. You are a black woman, so it's very good that you know this. That you know that. Uh, d what did he do? Uh, th there was something he did that was historic, and its impact is still felt today. In uh. police stations all over the country. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Inappropriate. Uh, <laughs> no. No. As an African American woman, I'm uh, I'm flabbergasted here. You should know what Abraham Lincoln did. Do you, have you ever heard of the Emancipation Proclamation? Oh my God, so our, our brain's gonna explode. Oh, yes, I take it when I have diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, what is it? What is it? Um. I believe that's uh, freeing of the slaves. Freeing of <laughs> wow, the slaves. All right. Very good. Now, do you know who signed the Emancipation Proclamation? I'll give you a hint. He's skinny and has a big hat. <laughs> Would it be Abe Lincoln? Abe Lincoln. Very good. She's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> You've learned a lot in here today. Thank you, guys. That's And that, that just seems to me something, uh, you know. Who's on the you should know. Who's on the one dollar bill? Oh. That would be Washington. Washington. Who's on the five? Well, I know money. Washington? Who's no. on the five also? No, it's Lincoln with the hat. Lincoln. Yeah. Let's get a little trickier now. Who's on a ten? Uh um 
Mm, that's tough. Okay. Um. Would it be? You'd never get it. I'm sorry for not having faith, but Jesus. Uh. Yafet uh, Kada. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, can you give me a first name? Is a first name. <laughs> a <Jesus>. first name. <laughs> uh, I'll give you a first name. Yeah. Uh, Alexander. Uh, Houston. Alexander Houston. Yep, Very absolutely. good. Absolutely. <laughs> 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 oh, did you see I that jerk? Alexander Houston, our and his president. His ragtime band. <laughs> his ragtime band, of course. We got to find out who is smarter, Lady mm-hmm. Di or Francine. I'd actually give it to Lady Di. Yeah. And she is really, really not smart. I don't know. Francine has a weird kind of knowledge. Francine seems clever. You're street smart. But you really don't have any knowledge whatsoever about anything. You're, you're what they call ignorant. It's not a bad thing. You have the capability of learning. You I'm just haven't learned anything. Your brain is devoid of information. <laughs> it, is a, it is a storage locker, pristine and empty. That's right. I am book smart. You're book smart? Yes. Comic book? Yeah. What kind of book? Yeah, give us something. Not history. Give us something you know. What would you consider give yourself something a little bit more of an expert in yeah. than anyone else? Give us something else? you know that would impress us. Everyone's got their specialties. Maybe what? something you, d- you think we wouldn't know. Uh, the tallest tree is located in California. <laughs> <laughs> that wears a hat and it was our first president. <laughs> really, the tallest tree? And what type of tree is that? Big ass, <laughs> Big ass tree. Big ass tree. A willow tree? I a willow know. tree. I know it's in yeah. California. Probably an oak. Yeah, red something sequ- like that. Sequoia. Sequoia. See? Redwood. Did you guys know that? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Said Jimmy it. said it. Oh. <laughs> <The> sequoia. <laughs> Coincidentally enough, that's her cousin's name, Sequoia. <laughs> <laughs> no? Sorry. Black no. people have funny names sometimes. Like Sequoia, Spatula. <laughs> <laughs> no? Wow. So nothing else. Is there a a subject that you're pretty good in? Yeah. That you were good in school? English. English. Mm -hmm. You're good in English. All right. I'm trying to think of some type of question that would show her English skills. Geography. You're good at geography? Yes. All right. (laughs) Then we'll talk about math. Uh, (laughs) Kidding, of course. All right. (laughs) Geography. Um, uh, Capitals, things like that? Yes. All right. What is the capital of... New York. Manhattan. Manhattan, New York is indeed okay, the capital one for one. of New York. Holy shit. <laughs> what is the... Um, I am stunned. Wow. <laughs> Manhattan, New York, the capital of New York. Okay. Mm-hmm. One for one. That's good. How about New Jersey? Uh, um. Mm. Hmm. It's a tough one. Yeah, that is a tough one. Your first instinct is probably right. You probably have it, and you, you're doubting it, but that's probably right. Uh, Her first instinct I was Nebraska. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. Wyoming's a country? Wait, it's coming to her, guys. It's coming to her. It is. Would it be... Um, I don't know. New, New Jersey? Yes. Uh, New Brunswick? Absolutely. New Brunswick. <laughs> New Brunswick, New Jersey, two is two. indeed the capital of New I Jersey. I told you your first instinct She is right. good at geography, then. <laughs> <laughs> maybe uh, maybe world geography a little world better. World is good. World geography. All right. World a little, geography. A little better. All right. What continent is India part of? Oh, very good. It is part of Asia. Ooh. <laughs> you are smart. <laughs> the tsunami. Oh, you learned from the tsunami? Yes. And that's another cousin's name, by the way, tsunami. <laughs> no tsunami. Yeah. Wow, mm-hmm. see, that uh, that learned you something. Yes, it did. All right. Anything else? Any other subjects you're very good at? No? Um, you weren't good in social studies? or. I was good in social studies, you were? actually. Isn't that kind of history and things like that? Yeah, but, like, it's been a long time. You know, high school was What like years d- did World War II last for for America? What years were our involvement in World War II? Uh... Mm-hmm. Hmm. Um, it was early 30s. Early 30s, indeed. 1932. Okay. To early 40s. Right, to early 40s. Yes. Mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> 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 That's great. Yeah. 
You're fighting a painter at that point, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, you're, you've proven yourself. You are indeed book smart. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You go to geography. Okay. George, oh, any comments over there? That Hitler was cranky. <laughs> <laughs> Part of what you learned in, in social studies. Yes. I was wow. Cool. And what are you doing? In are you still in college? No, I work as a secretary. Did you graduate? Yeah. And you have your, a degree? I surely did. And what does that do for you, that degree? What will that... Well, so far it really hasn't done a lot. No? Did yeah. they ask to see it when you went for a job? Uh, no. No. And you got a job, uh, a secretary? Yes. What kind of company? Real estate. Real estate. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So you, you, you help uh, uh, out with the, the big land deals that are going on? Yes. <laughs> what do you have to do as a secretary to real estate? Let me give me give me a little uh, a little of your job. Because uh, I'm stunned. Because uh, if it's anything aside from breathing and eating, <laughs> I really can't see you doing it. No, I I like type papers. Yeah. And I write bills, and I take phone calls a lot. Yeah. Lots you write things. bills. Mhm. Mm but I'm going back to school because I I want to do something else. Uh huh. Mhm. Mm yeah. You don't think real estate's for you? Nah, not really. It's cool, but... What is for you? I'm either going to go back to be a teacher or <laughs> a lawyer. A teacher or a lawyer. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. A lawyer. Well, it depends on how much money I have. She got you the death penalty for jaywalking, this one. <laughs> Got a little mix-up at the real estate office. Sold an Upper West Side uh, apartment for ten bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Billed the guy ten bucks for it. It's coming out of her pocket, so she's got to become a lawyer to pay for it, right? Yeah. Do you know what jaywalking is? Yes, I do actually. Pretty simple law if you're going to be a lawyer. What is it? Yeah. Well, I heard it on your show. All right. What is it? It's like walking across the street, and I believe you're usually walking not near the traffic signals. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, well. Sort of. Technically, it's walking from one corner to the next corner of an intersection on an, an angle, on the diagonal, instead of in straight lines across the street. Yeah. But, you know, it's a, a crossing when you're not supposed to, sure. Here's walking. a future lawyer question. How do you feel about tort reform? Oh, oh very good, yeah. Um, what's tort reform? You mean pop tort? <laughs> what kind of tort you talking about? <laughs> Tort reform is basically, uh, it's cutting down litigation, be uh, people, like, needless lawsuits. Yeah. Mm. Senseless lawsuits. Yeah. Well, becoming a lawyer, she probably wouldn't like that. Absolutely. It's cutting uh, in on, on your income. Would you be a criminal uh, lawyer, defense, maybe a prosecution? Would you be a, a, a lawyer what? for lawsuits and a civil lawyer? What kind of lawyer? Um, I just read a lot of Grisham novels, so... <laughs> <laughs> Just general law, I guess. Just like a lawyer that reads Grissom novels. Okay. General law. General law. So you're learning a lot about the law from the Grissom novels. They're really good. Would you like to defend, like, guilty people, that kind of law? Um, or prosecute them? I guess I would defend people. You would oh want to God, defend people. The jail's going to be yeah. filled wow. from the brim. Imagine a poor bastard comes in. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, what? What? Wait, what was that What was that one Grisham novel? It's about the young lawyer who comes up against the odds. <laughs> what do you mean? There's like a young lawyer, and um, he's thrown into this situation that's supposed to be over his head, mm -hmm. and he kind of like does some behind-the-scenes investigating. That one Grisham novel. What was that one? That one. And and in the end, everything works out. Yeah, it works out yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the big famous one. It's set in kind of like a southern law firm. Right. Mm -hmm. Maybe I haven't read that one yet. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Which one is that? It's all it's of them. Every one. Oh, okay. <laughs> every <laughs> single, single one of them. John Grisham <laughs> should get prostate cancer. <laughs> he writes the same <laughs> fucking book every time. Wow. No, he doesn't. He no. certainly does. And she, goes, <laughs> and she goes, I did. I don't think I've read that one yet. No, you've read that one yeah. five <laughs> different times. I didn't God. know Grisham made pop-up right. books. <laughs> I read it's a lawyer doing this in a scolding fashion. <laughs> Good on radio point and then expecting <laughs> audience at home to laugh. All right, let's thank Francine <laughs> for uh, doing what she does wow. best. Nice job, thank, Francine. Thank you, guys. Otto and George in the studio. Awesome. we got to take a quick break. Uh, George, uh, yeah. any comments about what you just saw? Uh, I got a Smith and Wesson ready for the next. <laughs> Francine's going to St. Copius of. <laughs> well, all right. Well, uh, see you on the dock, Senator. <laughs>
Well, Francine was talking about Michael Jackson somewhere in there. Whoa. Really? And we've been having a lot of fun with Jay Leno's monologues on uh, the Michael Jackson thing. So You know who Jay Leno is? Uh? Yes, yeah, I do. Of course we do. All right, so this is what uh, Jay had to say about uh, the, the Jackson case last night on his program. 